All right, Shalom, Shalom. All praise, is honor, and glory is always be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, be in Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, be in Yahweh, Shah. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you've been given the spirit to receive that or not, in peace, love, blessing, salutations, be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, begin with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the one third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious light of this gospel, man. All right? You innumerable multitude of the elect, man, whithersoever you be. You see? Here it is. The earth has been defiled and given into the hand of the wicked, according to prophecy. You see, we've lost our inheritance. We've been overcome by the wicked, man. You see, the planet earth is now in the inheritance of the wicked. And you see the condition that it is in, man. All right? But we're approaching the time of his end. You see? Go ahead and grab that precept real quick, brother. This is Genesis 49. Uh, I'm going to grab 18. And this is concerning... The, the 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 context of this whole chapter is where uh, 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 Jacob goes to tell his twelve sons what their lot would be at the, at the at the end of days. Man, prophesying to them, you know, the things that would be fall upon them. You see, and Gad, being the forefather of the so-called Native American Indian, all right, an inheritor of the planet Earth. You see, a royal people who were told that their history begin will be colonized. You see, according to the prophecy. Something totally different is in store for these people, man. Though you you go and you see them, you know, uh, uh, tilting the bottle and, you know, caught on all these different things that, you know, Esau the wicked has set before him to cause him to stumble and fall. The elect, you see, beginning with 12,000 out of that tribe, you see, as well as the remaining tribes, 12,000 out of each tribe, making up 140 and 4,000 prophets are going to return, man, raising up a banner. For the elect to see wherever they may be to return unto their power, man. To return to true power before the coming of our king, man. Go ahead, I. Come on, this is uh, Genesis 49 and 18. I have waited for, for thy salvation, O Yahweh. God, a troop shall overcome him. You see, a troop shall overcome him, man. He will be overcome by a people, by a troop. You see? Which is exactly what's happened, man. The Heavenly Father has allowed... Esau to overcome Gad as well as the rest of us you see but but what was said but he shall overcome at the last he shall overcome at the last man you see so that's the time that we're approaching you see the time in which Gad will overcome Esau man. the time in which all of our tribes begin with our big brother Judah will overcome Esau go ahead brother and jump back to verse uh, 8 verse 8 you see and you're going to see man this is why they were saying the things that they did pursuing to Luke, the first chapter in the 68th verse on down. You see a rejoicing at the coming of our king, the Messiah, who was going to raise up the horn of salvation to take down this devil, man. To take down this oppressive beast system. You're going to see when we grab these other prophecies, you see if the spirit is dealing with you, you're going to see how it was prophesied. All these different ions will bear rule in this very last beast system, you see, governing the planet Earth would be broken, man. You see, that's when Gad will overcome at the last. You see, go ahead, brother. Judah. You see, but our king, man, our king coming in the flesh, that, 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 that represented salvation coming for our people, man. All these prophecies, you see the prophecies of old, you see marking, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai coming and marking those to, to, to be, uh, uh, you know, be, being fulfilled, man. You see, but though he came that first time, his blood was spilt in order for us to be able to return. And that's why you see all these different brothers throughout the whole planet Earth coming back, you see. Now, you have, uh, uh, now you have chance of repentance, man. You see, but now he's coming back for those that who are repenting to restore into full health, man. To physically bring the life, to physically tear down the wicked and establish our rule, man. As we're gonna see, you see, he's coming back to wage war, man. King of kings, as it said, right? So he's gonna come back and he's gonna tear down those who are in power, man. You see. Raising the horn against Esau Edom, man. Isaiah 63. You see? Beginning with Esau, he's going to tear down the wicked. Go ahead, huh? Judah, 
Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. See, thy hand shall be on the neck of thine enemies, man. Go ahead, brother. Thy father and, and, and really, he's the one that will, you know, raise up the banner for the rest of us to, to, to wake up, man. You see? Go ahead. And that's what you've seen according to prophecy, man. Judah's risen up. The other tribes have followed. You see? And now they're seeing us come together as one, and it's terrifying for Esau, man. Go ahead, Ak. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a yep. lion. Because see, what, what he's doing is, is he's... He's rousing up, you see, the elect, whithersoever they be, you see, and, 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 and beginning with, with, with Yahweh Shai altogether, man, you see, preparing the way for our king, as you're going to see. Go ahead, Doc. Judah is a lion wept from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion. You see, you so-called Negroes, man, you supposed to be a, 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 a ruling class people as well, man. But you've been crouched down. You've been you've been uh, pushed pushed under, man. Go ahead. Up. Let me grab let me grab this precept real quick. Actually, this is Sirach forty nine and four. It says, "All except David and Ezekiel and Josias were defective, for they forsook the law of the Most High. Even the kings of Judah failed. So we were given this law in order to separate us and make us that royal priesthood, man. As the scriptures say in the Book of Psalms, "Ye are gods, but you shall die like men." You see. We've been given into the hand of the wicked, and he's ruled over us in this in this vigorous way, man. You see? What going on? It says, Therefore, he gave their power unto others and their glory to a strange nation. You see that, man? So our power and our glory has been given to another nation, man. Go ahead, Doc. Uh, who shall rouse him up? Oh, and as a, an old lion, who shall rouse him up? You see, as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? You see, now that would be that would be the, the the spirit of the Most High, man. You see, rousing up the elect, beginning with Judah, then the other tribes coming along. Because who stands forth out of Judah, man? Go ahead, brother. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. You see, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, man. He rose up. Who? Yahweh Shai. That's why you go into the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew, starting at the first chapter in the first verse. The whole lineage going all the way unto Yahweh Shai, man. You see, it was prophesied that we would receive a, a you know, a, a true pure king, man. Go ahead, Doc. And that's why, again, that's why they were rejoicing the way that they were going into Luke uh, a 1 and 68 on down, man. Knowing and understanding that this marked the fulfillment of prophecy. This marked that our people were not going to have to suffer underneath the hand of the wicked forever. You see? Go ahead, Doc. But there was going to be a time in which we were going to overcome at the last. Go ahead, brother. What's going on? Nor a lawgiver from between his feet you see nor a lawgiver from between his feet man the heavenly father gave us the law and he rose up particular members to establish that law man go ahead Ak. until shiloh come you see until shiloh now that's representing yahweh shai the messiah the king the savior so on and so forth go ahead and unto him shall the gathering of of the people be unto him shall the gathering of the people be man you see heavenly father has risen up a horn of salvation for all of us to be able to flock to, man. You see, be be hope being hopeful members of the elect, man. You see, he's call he's put the calling out there, and many of us have received that calling, but the elect of us are going to endure until his coming, man. You see, now we got the line, we got the playbook, we got everything that we need here, and one of the biggest things that we have is the prophecy, man. And you're going to see as we continue in this prophecy, it's just a, a, a faith booster and an increaser, man. You see, when you deal with these prophecies, it's, that's what separates this book from all other books, man. This prophecy, it's, it's going to tell us all the different rulerships that will be on the planet Earth. And, and, and this was during the Babylonian Empire. It goes into the Grecians, the Romans, and this last empire over the planet Earth that would have ruled just before the coming of our king, man. You see, that would cause the whole world to be deceived. Who is this that, that's deceived the world, man? You see, made the whole world to think he was some innocent and, and white being, when in fact, he's the wicked and red. We were told that the spiritual demon Satan was going to get up and cause the whole world to take a mark. And now you're seeing that the government of this world is getting up and causing the whole world to take a vaccination. And the next thing is going to be that mark, man. 
You see, he's being exposed for the true wicked he is, man. None of the prophecies of Christianity are coming to pass, but all these prophecies within the, within the scripture are coming to pass, man. Go ahead. Uh, was that in on that, Huck? Yeah. Come on, so go ahead and jump to uh, Daniel. And let's go ahead and start reading into that. Then Daniel 2 and 31. 2 and 31. Come on, this is Daniel 2 and 31. Thou, O king, saw us, and behold, a great image. You see, now this is during the Babylonian Empire in which King Nebuchadnezzar was ruling. And, and, and he had overcame the southern kingdom, man. So Daniel was led into slavery, captivity, underneath him. And he was breaking down one of his visions, man. All right? Now he's going to break down what it was. Go ahead, Ock. This great image whose uh, brightness was exalted, or ex excellent, Slocky, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image, uh, image's head, was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver. His you see, so the, the, his head was that fine gold, man. Now this represented the, the Babylonian Empire. You see, he saw this big, this big statue, this big idol, so to speak. All right, the head representing the Babylonian Empire. Then what was next? His breast and his arms of silver. You see, his breast and his arms of silver. Now, what came after the Babylonian Empire? The Medio Persian Empire, man. You see, that's what came next. Go ahead. So now Daniel prophesied this, man, before the Medio Persian Empire was even established. And he's going to go ahead and continue even further. Go ahead, Ock. His belly and his thighs. A brass. You see his belly and his thighs, brass. And what, what came after the Medio Persian Empire? The Grecian Empire, beginning with Alexander, man. You see the first to, to, to gather all the Grecian uh, uh, colonies to, to, to come together and fight against the, the Medio Persians. And what did they do? They overcame them, and now they had their allotted time to rule over the planet. Go ahead says uh going on verse 33 his legs of iron his legs of iron now what came forth after the uh, uh grecian empire the roman empire man you see which was another family of the grecians you see the prophecies tell you beginning in first maccabees one you see that this is when wickedness would 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 begin to flourish on the planet earth is when the grecians came into power man all right and daniel even in the eighth chapter that, that whole 8th chapter, he goes into to a similar uh, prophecy, man. Breaking down all the different ions that are rule on the planet Earth. You see, the same thing in the 7th chapter. You see, even goes as far as telling you the four generals that would rule after Alexander, man. And lead into this very last empire on the planet Earth, man. You see? We, we would have the Dark Ages, then we would have the rebirth of Esau's system, man. And it would come into its full power. You see, in the last days, we see today, man. Go ahead, Doc. His, um, his feet. This is it for you heathen nations, man. Because as we're going to see, there's going to be an ending coming next, man. You see? What it say? Gad will overcome at the last, man. We have our win coming. We have our victory coming, man. Go ahead, brother. His feet part of iron and part of clay. You see his feet part of iron and part of clay. You see? And this represents America, NATO, and the EU. All right? That last uh, a ruling, shi ruling ship uh, 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 system to bear rule on the planet Earth, man. You see the beast pursuing a revelation the 17th chapter. You see? Bearing rule and deceiving the whole world, causing the whole world to come underneath their power. You see? Spreading forth sin. Spreading forth their image of sin, man. The whole world is turned upside down at the hand of the wicked, man. That's why the scriptures talk about departing because this is not our rest, Micah 2 and 10. The elect are returning unto our true ways of living, man, our heritage. That's why the scriptures talk about being reborn again, man. You see? Being washed and becoming a whole new creature. You see, repenting and the end of that repentance will result in immortality, man. That very same law that we were not able to keep, you see? The oracles of the Heavenly Father being reestablished and rewritten within our hearts and within our mind, man. Before it was written upon stone, now it's been written upon, upon our, being written upon our heart and our mind, man. 
We're in the time of grace right now in order for you to get right. But when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to seal that new covenant within us, man. And those of us that endure unto that point are going to be made perfect. Which means what, man? What is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. Going, going to 1 John 3 and 4. And the wages of sin, pursuing to, uh, uh, Romans the uh, sixth chap chapter, is death. And to James uh, uh, the first chapter, man. All right, so the wages of sin is death. So you're going to have that governing body who's going to live immortality, man. As it is written, Psalms 82, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. Now we're returning back into that godly state, man. You see, the elect of us are. The rest of us are going to continue running after this place and seeking all different forms of salvation. But there's only one way that we are going to overcome, man. The Heavenly Father gave us Yahweh Shai, you see. And if you study the context of the scriptures, man, the Heavenly Father always chooses the underdog, man. David and Goliath. He could have chose the biggest, baddest Israelite. Gideon in the 300. He had that great multitude of people and he, he dwindled all the way down to 300. So it would be made known that it's the Heavenly Father that caused us to overcome, man. So now he chose the foolishness of preaching as it is written in the book of, uh, uh, of 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. The first chapter and the second chapter. You see, he chose the foolishness of preaching to confound this world, man. You see? Even even uh, uh, Ishmael, in all his different power that he has, isn't, isn't able to overcome Esau, man. But the Heavenly Father gave it to, to us, man, beginning with the, the elect, or so like beginning with 140 and 4,000, man. Which equals out to 0.002% of the population today, man. Giving all glory unto himself, man. All glory and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You see, but our glory will come. You see, but the victory belongs unto the Heavenly Father, man. And that's what will be made known. True power. You're going to know who the true creator of all energy is, man. Who the true power of terrors is, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 34. Thou sawest till that... It's like here. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands. You see, a stone cut out without hands. Now, who's that stone that's cut out without hands, man? Go ahead and jump up to verse uh, 40. Uh, actually, go ahead Go ahead and finish reading that. Okay. This has gone on. Which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and, uh, uh, and break them to pieces. Yep, you see, so this adamant stone was created to smite this, smite this, the, the, that whole system. You see, all those different beasts, that whole idol all together, you see, being the heathen's rule, and destroy it, man. You see, that stone uh, 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 cut without hand. Now, again, that stone cut without hand is Yahweh Shai. Let me go ahead and grab a quick precept. This is uh, 1 Peter. 2 and 4, it says, To whom coming as unto a living stone, you see, a living stone, man, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Heavenly Father and precious. You see, so the Heavenly Father chose this chief cornerstone to establish what, man? The rest of the building. Verse 5, Ye also are lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. You see, a spiritual house is being built, man. This is the building of the third temple, man. The elect coming together. Underneath Yahweh Shai, man. It says, And holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable unto the Heavenly Father by Yahweh Shai Mashayak. So only through Yahweh Shai Mashayak are we able to offer up a spiritual sacrifice once more, man. Not a physical sacrifice, but a spiritual sacrifice, man. You see, investing investing in, 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 in the kingdom in order to, to, to sow in the kingdom, so to speak, man. You see, as the scriptures say, the uh he that 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 uh, uh invests carnally shall shall sow shall sow carnally man but he that invests spiritually shall uh uh uh, uh shall reap a life everlasting man so you see yeah you got to go to work you got to do your thing you see we're you know having to work today man at the end of the week we're going to receive a carnal uh uh you know a carnal uh uh, uh you know blessing from it man but then we do these videos. We go to camp. We, you see, you got you to gotta, uh, uh, prove your faith by your works, man. We've been given something, so we got to invest it 
as it is written, man. You see, the parable of the sowers, the parable of the talents. You see, look that one up, man. The parable of the talents. Go ahead, brother. I got a piece out. Okay. It says, um, this is, uh, fuck yeah, Sirach, uh, fuck yeah, 51, and 25. I opened my mouth and said, buy her for yourselves without money. To put your neck under the yoke and let your soul receive instruction. See, uh, she is hard at hand to find. Behold your uh, with with your eyes how that I have had but little labor and have gotten uh, unto me much rest. Get learning with, uh, with a great sum of money and get much gold by her. Let your souls rejoice in, in his uh, mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. So you got to give yourself over unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. Anything that you try to receive in this world if you want to be the next nba all-star whatever the case may be even if you want to learn to play a proper you know be good at a, a, a particular video game man you got to invest in that man you see so how much more you how by shimmy this is why the scriptures say he that uh, uh uh loveth his life shall lose it and he that uh loseth his life for my sake shall gain it man go ahead I verse 30 work your work be times you see all these different revolutionaries, man, all these Israelites that died in the name of freedom, man. What did Emiliano Zapata, one of his fr famous quotes, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees, man. You see? So how much more should you be willing to give yourself over into Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man? This is the true revolution, man. This is the true revolution in which we will overcome. All those other people, man, I hate to say it, they died in vain, man. They, they, oh. they invested in their own victory. Yep, they invested in their own victory, man. But upon only this foundation will he overcome, man. What it say? Gad of troops shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last, man. This is how we're going to overcome at the last. This is the book that told us we would overcome at the last, man. And, I ha and it has the details on how we will overcome at the last. You see? But only the elect have those ears open unto it to be able to receive it, man. The rest of you going to be like, oh, man, you know. I don't want to hear about, man, it, it ain't going to happen. And then you're going to go, you're going to go cleave under some other type of revolutionary act out there, man. Or you're going to just go cleave under the bottle. Mm -hmm. You see? You just can't see because your eyes are carnal, man. You see, if you see a carnal group out there, then you think there may be, may be some kind of victory, man. You see? Same people that were dying along with a, a, a crazy horse, Emiliano Zapata, Nat Turner. You see? Che Guevara, so on and so forth, man. Joaquim Mierta, which when they when they overcame him, man, they cut off his head and put it in a damn museum. You see, we have one foundation which will overcome, man. Esau will pay for all of these wicked acts. Go ahead, brother. Work your work be times, and in his time he will give you your reward. You see? And in, t and in his time, he will give us reward, man. So the reward is coming. But first, it begins backing all the way up to what? Repentance, man. Realizing who you are and doing something about it, man. That's right. Every, every, all these Jakes want to talk about, I'm a king, I'm royalty, I'm a child of the earth, I'm a Native American Indian, I'm a... Man, do something about it then, man. You see? These are the guidelines on how to become that royal body once more, man. Well, the rest of you are going to just run after the, the simple ways of this world because you have those carnal eyes, man. Go ahead, brother. You want to continue going on in Daniel? Uh, yeah. This is uh, going on in Daniel. Um, stock at 2 and 35. Then was the iron, the clay... The brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. Became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors, man. You see? What is, uh, that reminds me of, uh, go ahead, finish that verse, brother. If you look at a lake when it dries out, that's cracked. Mm hmm. Go ahead and finish that verse and then grab, uh, Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha, chapter 3. Hmm. 
and the, and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Khan, you see, their rulership was 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 over, man. Their rulership, their time of ruling was finished. You see, which will you know, Laura Willen will grab a couple verses out of uh, out of uh, uh, Daniel seven. You know that that also you know well really I mean we can read the whole seventh chapter and the eighth chapter, but for time's sake, you know, we'll get a couple particular verses out of seven. Go ahead, brother. Chapter three. Yeah, chapter 3 and start at verse um, 7. 7. Come on. Um, this is the wisdom of Solomon 3 and 7. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble. Come on. So in the time, actually back up one verse, brother. Come on. Verse 6. As gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like the sparks among the stubble. Yep, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among stubble, man. You see? So, so, but it began with what, man? It began with them be, being tried and worked into perfection, man. Mm -hmm. Repenting and working at that old man day in and day out, man. You see? And what? It, and at the time of, of our visitation, in which the our king comes, man, we're going to be risen into perfection, man. Can I go up to four real quick? Come on. Verse four, for thou, uh, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hopeful of immortality. You see, though we be punished in this flesh, our hope is full of immortality, man. The same thing within uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 9 and 10, man. He that hath an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So that's what keeps us patient and faithful, man. Our hope is full of immortality, man. We know and understand what's next, man. You see, it gets vexing seeing Esau rule over you and seeing him destroy our inheritance. But yet we know and understand what, what the end-all end be-all is, man. So we will stay patient within that Laurel willing, man, and endure unto the end, you see. But the elect, whithersoever they are, they will stay patient, man, no matter what happens, you see. The Heavenly Father, this is his show, man. This is his, these are his prophecies. You see? Go ahead, brother. Keep going and uh, jump back down to where you left off. Um, verse 8. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And their, their um, uh, masters shall reign forever. Yep. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And our master, which you're going to see the same thing written in all these different prophecies that we're reading, will reign forever, man. Our king will reign forever. You see? Go ahead, brother. And all you all you nations are going to be made to bow under our king, man. Under our rule, because it's going to be that everlasting rulership, man, in which the whole planet Earth will be uh, 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 in order underneath us. And what's this going to establish, man? Life. It's going to cause life to flourish on the planet. Because it's not our rules or your grandma's rules or your opinions or your emotions or what's been created to be an opinion within you in Esau's captivity. In his kingdom but these words of the heavenly father that are going to be established and made to rule and live by man you see which one third of us the elect of us are coming into right now you see that governing body go ahead Ark. they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him Yep. See, those that be faithful in love, which is obedience, are going to abide with him, man. So those that are coming back into the obedience of Yahweh by Shem Shai, those who are coming back into our heritage, are going to inherit the kingdom, man. You see? The first dominion, you see? But the rest of you, man, you're going to have to die on this side. Because you've been too far institutionalized to return, you see? Which is prophecy, man. It was prophecy that it would only be given unto the elect, man. Let me go ahead and grab a... This precept real quick, brother. This is Micah 4 and 11. It says, Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, Let her be defiled, and let our eye look upon Zion. But they know not the thoughts of the Heavenly Father. You see? So they see us in this low condition, man. They see the condition of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? Trying to get one up over you. But what did, what did it say, man? They don't know the ways of the Most High. They don't know what his prophecy is, man. But... But some of us do. Those who have been called, it says, Neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them 
as the sheaves unto a floor arise and thresh. What did it say in, in Daniel? It said in Daniel, uh, it's not here. It says, About the threshing floor? Come on, come on. It says, and, um, you, then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, the gold broken to, to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floor. Mm -hmm. And the wind carried them away that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and fi uh, filled you the see, whole earth. A great mountain being a government, man. You see, the great government to rule over the planet Earth, man. The governing body of the planet, you see. Just like the prophets, he say, all nations will flow into Zion, for out of Zion will, will, the, will the law be established, man. So they're going to learn the ways of the Heavenly Father by us, man. The connecting point between the planet Earth and the Most High through Yahweh Shai. Verse 13, it says, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make the horn, thine horn, iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people. And I will consecrate their gain unto the Heavenly Father, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. You see, so these nations are going to be uh, 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 are going to lose all of their time of rulership. As we just read, their whole image, you see, broken. And our kings rule beginning here on the planet Earth, man. You see, establishing our ways into the planet, man. Establishing the heavenly father's ways into the planet. That'll be governed by us, man. The Lord willing being part of that number of the elect, the first dominion. Um. Go ahead, brother. Keep going in that, uh, wisdom. Daniel. Okay. You could drop the wisdom. Huh. The wisdom of Solomon. This is the wisdom of Solomon. Oh, uh, Daniel. Or right. Daniel. So like it. Daniel, uh, so like it. 2 and 36. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Mm -hmm. Now, O king, are a king of kings, for the power of of heaven has given thee a kingdom power and strength and glory you see so he's telling him hey you know you you're the king you're the person that's in rule the heavenly father is who gave him that rule not himself not his grandfather you see but the heavenly father and why did he do that because he stripped it out of our hand as we just read out of Sirach 49 and verse 5, therefore he gave their power unto others and their glory unto a strange nation. So now this strange nation in this context would be Nebuchadnezzar in the Babylonian Empire. Go ahead, brother. Verse 38, and wheresoever the, the, the children uh, of men dwell. You see, so it was prophesied that the, the wicked would rule over us, man. Going all the way back to the time of, uh, of Daniel. You see, really going all the way back to Esau's blessing, man. Go ahead, Ak. The beast of the field and the fowls of the heaven hath he given into thine hand and hath made thee ruler over them all. 